you were Peter and Rudy's teacher in the early 50s at Montana State, but when Bernard Leach and uh, Soichi Nagi and Hamada came, do you remember when Bernard Leach said that Americans in respect to folk crafts had no taproot? Do you remember what that was like? And well, how people responded? we were very annoyed by that because we didn't feel that we were vegetables that had to have tap roots. We were artists and we'd do what we wanted to do. And uh, I think Pete and Rudy were, you know, they were very good students. They did wonderful work and all the things they did, but they didn't exactly had craft roots, but we started doing ceramics. We went out and dug clay, and that started us out with, Pete saw somebody that had been stuck, and he said, where were you stuck? And the guy said, Bear Canyon, and so we went up Bear Canyon and prospected around and found this real nice clay. So that sort of started us, but uh, we just didn't feel that we needed to have tap roots or anything. Yeah. We were free artists, we go and do our thing. Yeah. And then I, what I said was, well, there we have so much variety, we have all these other things to pull into what we're doing. We don't have to have written one thing that we have all these other things which are a part of our experience that like block prints and whatever, what all have you been doing? Well, when Pete and Rudy came here to the to the Archie Bray, he, Bernard Leach kind of changed his mind, didn't he? he? He said something that he then felt that the Archie well, Bray was going to be the most, had the most potential for any place for craft in America. Be, because it, it was quite an open uh, place and there were, well, Pete and Rudy and other people were very good in what they were doing. And uh, actually Peter Malloy is the one that got the whole thing started because Pete and Rudy and I had been here for something or other, I forget what, and we stopped at the Malloy's. And Pete Malloy took Pete and Rudy out here to visit Archie Bray. And Archie Bray was just tickled, you know, to meet those guys and have the chance to really start something here. Because he was an, he was an artist, he liked art and music particularly and he'd been a very valuable citizen of Helen and bringing uh, events here and so here was a chance for him to have something which would put his brickyard on the map too if he had a good ceramics program going here and so it worked out and then Pete said you know, uh, you've probably heard the whole story. Uh, Hamada was not accustomed to kicking a wheel. We didn't have an electric wheel. And so Pete sat and kicked the wheel while Hamada threw pots. And Pete said it was just wonderful to be in that relationship to this very expert person who was so good at what he was doing and watch what he was doing, that that really was enlightening to him. Do you remember when they went to paint watercolors on the mountain? Was I think there had been a, a cold snap, and they took Hamada along on this, and Hamada was so tickled with what the watercolor paint did when it froze. When he started, you, making the bigger things and the way they're all essentially they're all pots I was making pots this afternoon 
rather large pots. Mm -hmm. Francis, one last question. I haven't looked at a dictionary recently. Basically, the crafts I'm interested in are handcrafts that you do. You design it and make it. It's it's a personal expression as opposed to industry where it usually it's not a personal expression.